hi guys welcome back to my channel and i'm back with another recap so we've really made it to the end of bad boys texas episode 14 the last hoorah it's been a heck of a time Whew. yes it's 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 been a journey and i was there for it all so let's get in pack let's unpack this last episode so as y'all know, if y'all been keeping up with the series so far, um, the boys went to Floyd Mayweather's um boxing uh place at in Texas, in Dallas, and they was duking it out. So it was Prince and Mo City that had to fight. At the end, I think they went two rounds. The first round, Prince got Mo City. And then the second round, Mo City got Prince. Prince was basically just getting knocked out. And it was like, okay, they, they both got some hands on them. So after that, after the voting or whatever, it's a unanimous decision that Mo City had better strength, ability, agility. Everything was just pointing to pointing to Mo City, and for that being said, he got the five thousand dollars because technically it wasn't up to Bobby to say. Basically, he had Jonathan pick, and he picked that. You know, Mo City got it, so that was good. It was a good fight overall. Everybody was tired, and then everybody kept saying they didn't know how tiring boxing can be. Yeah, because you gotta. Who, 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 and then you gotta have your stance right with your feet going back and forth. That's a lot of work. Like, trust me, I've never did it, but I can see it's a lot of work with any activity like that. It's a lot of work. So, after that, it's now what the next day. Oh, Prince ended up hurting his hand, and Adonis, too. So, it's now the next day. They go home, they recap about what, how the event was. Everybody talked about it was good. But they also had some thoughts on why Jonathan and Banger didn't fight. Like, get in the ring because then that would have been the experience everybody could have had together. But, you know, nevertheless to say that it happened. So, who's talking? I believe it's, um, um, dang it. I don't even know, but let's just say, long story short, Prince ended up hurting his hand. Adonis arm ended up being in a sling and stuff like that. So they're talking about the events for the, what they're going to do. They had three venues to pick from. They all decided that they want to um do their own event. Well, pick this event, but they also going to do it showcasing with Krishan Rock. So everybody unanimously thought that was that. So later on that night, I believe, they went to dinner to you know talk about the song the venue stuff like that and you know they went to turkey leg hut so everybody was enjoying their food jonathan couldn't go because he had other business to attend to or whatever so now it's the next day and he's most city just so happens to see jonathan in the hallway getting his hair cut and whatnot so he go out to chop it up with him and he was like, listen, why you wasn't out with us last night? He was like, listen, I had other business to attend to, but that's what you got to do. got to get that money. So they was talking about, you know, everything, how they feel about the experience. I was like, I was surprised that some of them had a really great time, even though some of it didn't turn out to be as, like, copacetic as they would want it to be, like rainbows and roses. Nah, they were, came in fighting with avengers like everybody had their own um issues going on but to see that they all stuck it through to the end for the majority of them for the most part it was amazing to see because everybody was actually getting emotional and teary-eyed behind i was just like wow this is what a real brotherhood is about go through trials and tribulations together you fight you argue and then you get back on one accord as if nothing never happened that's what i wanted to see from the first season but this right here this second season was like the best so far, even though it's only been two. But I can honestly say, hands down, I wish this would have been the first season. Because there was just so much love, even though the fighting happened and stuff like that. It was just like great to see that, you know, they can actually overcome the stuff that they have put in their way between the sports activities that they've done. 
you know, doing music in the studio, stuff like that. So, Raz felt some type of way at one point that he wanted to be on the song. So, they end up going to the studio. I think it was Adonis, Chef D, Prince, Orlando. They go to the studio. Raz is nowhere to be found. So, eventually, Orlando gets on the track. He lays down his part. It was just super, super fire. So, they played it back, and everybody was in love. So, the producers mixed and mastered it up so they could get ready for the show. Um, yeah, because when it was time for them to pull up to the, to the venue, Raz was still nowhere to be found. So, everybody gets up to the place. And they get out the car or whatever. Well, they get open the doors to get ready to get out. Rasby shows up and said he was at the hospital because of his leg or whatever. So they was like, okay, cool. So everybody go into the show, go into the venue. Headquarters is what it's called. And, you know, they perform their songs. The crowd was loving it or whatever. Then next thing you know, Nat comes out, hypes up the crowd and stuff. That Scotty was there as well from Baddies. And then Krishan and Blue came out and, you know, Krishan hyped the crowd about her song. It's a vibe. That song literally is a vibe all the time. Like, it's just a play on words that's, like, so true. It resonates with you at any moment of the day. Like, you could be going through something. Then you hear that song, you be like, it's a vibe all the time. Yeah, just get you in your feels and get you, like, not overthinking about certain things that you got going in life. Just live in the moment and chill with that vibe that you got going on. So that was a great experience. Everybody still continued to know. They did a recap of how everybody felt about the episode, the episodes to there, to, from the beginning to now. Everybody was emotional, crying. It was just like, wow. I really, I really felt for them. It was like really an emotional experience, even though I didn't go through it with them. But I watched the stuff happen and play out on on screen. Like this was really good. Natalie, keep doing your thing. I think I'm gonna love bad bad boys better than I'm gonna love baddies because baddies is like it's all about the drama and they don't know when to let the drama go. But bad boys, they get to the drama, fight it out, and they move on like it never happened. Like I can honestly say I'm loving bad boys better better than ever i hopefully i hope some come back like carry on i hope he comes back jonathan i hope he comes back uh rails he wasn't really giving that much energy like he did last season but it was great to see him as a like pop in and out um chef d definitely get the vibes who else i would love to see back come back mo city come back prince you know he was good too orlando definitely come back um, Banga, not so much. Raz, not so much. Uh, I think Big Lou, he should come back for next season because, you know, his was actually cut short due to his health problems. Anthony, I don't know. Maybe just stay away and that's just, not saying like that, but just, you know, stay away and focus on other things so that way it's not so confrontational. Adonis, I would definitely like to see come back if that just so happens because that was just, this was just great. This is really, really great. Natalie, like I said, again, keep doing your thing. Bad Boys is where it's at. Keep going up from there. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this recap. I hope they come out with a, a reunion. But even though I don't think there's going to be one because just to the simple fact how the way the show ended, I don't think there's going to be another one like how this season one. But, you know, fingers crossed because you never know. You can only hope for so much. And I hope there is one. So, once again, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this recap. And y'all basically tune into it and see what y'all really thought about the show. If y'all been keeping up with it from so far, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.